Hey everybody, it is midsummer. I'm not complaining, it's, it's quite uncomfortable, but I'm not going to complain because I know what's gonna happen in a few months. So I am thankful for this good weather, no problem. Middle of the gardening season, you might be wondering, is it too late for me to plant some things? Well, it really depends on a couple of different things. How much of your growing season do you have left? For instance, here in Michigan, it's about the 6th of July and I calculated up to about September 20th. Once we get around September 20th, it starts to get cooler, but not always. So that gives me 78 days in my area. Now, depending on where you are in the country, for instance, if you're out in Oregon or someplace like that, they have very long growing seasons. Uh, the South, of course, has a longer growing season, but up here in the North, uh, it's getting shorter and shorter every day. So there are some things that you can grow, and um, also you can extend your season somewhat by, for instance, I'm making some raised beds, which we'll talk about some other time, and I'll be able to cover those raised beds with plastic and extend my growing seasoning into late October, depending on what I'm trying to grow, mostly greens at that point. Uh, or uh, I have a greenhouse, and I'll talk about this a little bit later, but one of the things I'm doing is I'm starting tomatoes now on my deck, and I have some that are in pots that I will just move to the greenhouse, and if I, select to heat that greenhouse, I should be able to get um, tomatoes into January. Then it starts to get a little bit expensive to heat the greenhouse and I'll have to decide if it's worth it. But of course, if it's hobby, uh, it's a little different economic uh, situation. So here's some ideas if you want to grow vegetables midsummer into the fall. And I'll put on the screen how long it takes for them in terms of the range between when you get them started by putting in the seed and when you can expect to harvest. For instance, one of the things is basil. And uh, you can also grow other herbs. They may not be very large, but if you grow them in pots, you can take them inside the house. Uh, beets is another one. And uh, it takes about 50 to 60 days. Bush beans, it's not too late for green beans. Uh, if you start them right now, you can get some broccoli, although some of the broccolis will be up around 70 days or more. And um, in our area, we're pushing it, but I think if I had some pretty decent sized broccoli plants, I could still get some broccoli. Maybe not a lot, but some. Same thing with Brussels sprouts. I, I have my doubts about Brussels sprouts though, because it could take up to 100 days. Um, you would have very small Brussels sprouts, so maybe not that one, but you could get some early cabbage. And uh, cauliflower we normally plant in the, the summer months and you'll get a fall harvest, so you may want to consider that. Uh, when we talked about herbs, cilantro, we love cilantro when we're making pico de gallo and we use it when we're making guacamole and different things. And you can grow that up until it gets cold. Uh, collard greens, mustard greens, kale, those are all greens that they won't be huge but um, most of the greens, the best ones, are the smaller leaves anyway. They tend to be more tender. You can also plant garlic at this time, but don't expect to get a harvest until next year. You can always start some green onions and uh, <clears throat> leaf lettuce, head lettuce, although you won't necessarily get that full head, but you'll get a pretty decent head, and uh, that's something that you might want to try also. Any of the lettuces, you will have the opportunity to grow them long enough. Uh, you could start some peas and we'll be moving into the cooler weather so they'll do quite well. Uh, although some of the peas can take up to 80 days so I would be pushing it on some cultivars I'd want to make sure that I got an early harvesting variety. Radishes definitely because they're only 28 days. When I uh, was working in extension there were uh, some farms in the area and uh, one place grew radishes and they were growing radishes they just kept planting and planting and planting them because of 28 days and uh, they were getting crops constantly. Spinach is another one, one of the uh, dark greens. And the dark leafy greens are very good for you anyway, so you should have them. I adore spinach. I will eat spinach like potato chips. And um, I was kind of weird as a child, but uh, I, I just loved spinach. I liked it steamed, stir fried, uh, and raw in salads, or just eating it out of the, out of the bag or bringing it in from the garden. Swiss chard, you can get that started. Like Bright Lights is a good cultivar of a Swiss chard, many different color petioles. And then of course, when we talked about greens, uh, you can grow turnips. You may not get a very large bulb, but the best ones are small ones anyway. Um, but you will at least get the greens. So those are some things that you can grow, and I'm sure some of you can think of some other things. But just because July, and people tend to think of getting their planting done before Memorial Day, it doesn't mean that 
uh, your harvest is over. You can push it on into the fall and still get fresh produce. And some of that produce is some of the most nutritious produce you can get out of your garden. So give it a try and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Gary, see ya.